Nashi, how is it going so far this season? Um, it's going really good. It's obviously very strange to be back in the in under the circumstances, and um, we have a lot of protocols in place to keep um, everyone safe and healthy. And um, you know that that sort of the logistics of that certainly adds problems. But we, you know, we there's always ways around it, and we just have to work with it. It's the way it is at the moment, and. Um, you know, we we're working around it the best we can to to get the best out of training and uh, and make sure we're ready for the games. And obviously, I'm I'm sure you're pretty excited at the minute. We have our new keeper, Vadslav, and he certainly made an impression so far. What do you make of him? Yeah, well, we um, obviously we did our homework with us. He um, he was at Semper in the past eighteen months, and um, and during the. Uh, the, the lockdown period, we had plenty of time to uh, to assess him as a goalkeeper and uh, and look at his his games and 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 all his attributes really and um, you know he, he, he was one of a, a number go, number of goalkeepers that were on our list to to bring in um, and once we spoke to him we uh, and we met up with him we 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 kind of obviously got the ball rolling and and we, we we're very glad that he uh, he decided he, he agreed with our what we, what the club and what um, myself and the gaffer and Skip's um, ideals are and what we want from this season. Um, and he's, and he, he wants the same. He wants to be successful. He wants to win promotion. Um, and he wants to do well for the club. Um, and obviously that, that has shown in the in the games he's played so far. You know he's been an influential part of uh, the team already um, this early into the season. And what's it like for you working with him one on one? I mean, it's great. You know, all, all the goalkeepers we've got generally, you know, they're hard working. We're the first out and the last in. Um, and he's, you know, there's there's no language barrier there. He's he's good in, with his English. He's um, he does exactly what you, you you want of him as far as the work goes. Um, and he's a he's a great lad to have around the place. You know, he's he gets on well with the players. And I think obviously him coming in. Um, has given the, the the players around him more confidence um, in him, and and that's shown in the games. Now it's a huge game for the club on Wednesday night. It's not about the result, but more about the magic of the fixture, really, for Salford. I don't so, know about that. If you if you ask any of the management staff, it's about the result. We want to win the game. There's no doubt about that. Yeah. But, uh, we for the fans, that, though, for the fans, it's more for like the fans, it's, yeah. it's a great game. It's, you know, and you know, it's. Um, it's probably, if you look at it, it's probably the biggest game in the club's history as far as, you know, the level and the team that we're playing. Um, and, it, and let's make uh, no mistake, it's going to be a difficult task for us. Um, but it's also a good test for the players to see uh, how they can do against very good opposition and premiership opposition. So it'll be good. Looking forward to it. And you were at Everton for two years. Does this make this fixture seem a bit more to you than others might might make it feel it's it's you know it's exciting for me like you say I, I was there two years and had very very fond memories of the club uh, you know I, I actually supported Everton uh, from being a youngster um, I think my first game was back in 1981 the Merseyside derby at Goodison so uh, it does bring back fond memories and it's uh, when the obviously the draw was made um, you know, I was I was kind of smiling <laughs> because uh, you know it, it's not it's always nice to go back to a club you play for uh, at whatever level and um, and obviously Everton's a fantastic club with great fans and um, it, it's just unfortunate that we're in the situation where there's obviously no fans there because that would have been a a great night uh, and added to the obviously already good occasion. Well, it's a tough fixture, like you said. Do you think that the lads are going to give something the fans to talk about at home? <laughs> I hope so, yeah. I hope so. Yeah, for, for us, you know, we, we, we really uh, want a good performance from the lads. Uh, like I say, it will be a test. Um, it's not going to be, <laughs> it's certainly not going to be an easy game for us, uh, but it certainly will test us um, and test, us, uh, test the players as individuals. Um, and it's good always to to you know to pit your wits against better opposition, and and that's how you learn. So it's um, yeah, we I think players and stuff like we're all looking forward to it. And finally, what do you think about the journey that Salford have come on 
I mean, especially when you joined Salford, did you think that we'd be facing Everton so soon? <laughs> I, did, I didn't think we'd be facing them so soon, although, you know, we... Um, the club's come a very long way in a short space of time and uh, in, in certain aspects we're still adjusting to that but um, from a, a player and staff point of view we like I said earlier we all want to be successful and we want to go as, as high as we can um, and um, I think that shows in the way we, we train we try and do everything professionally and um, hopefully this year we can we can get those results we need to get that step higher uh, and make more history for the club.